What's up? It's your boy, Mr. Cherry, from the Mr. Cherry Radio Show, and you are now tuned into Music with a Purpose. Up next, we're featuring Lorenzo Owens right here on Madison Media Radio. Oh, 
Thanks so much for tuning in to Music with a Purpose. I'm your host, Madison, and I'm on the move to bring you the hottest artists from all around the world. Tonight, I have a very special guest, Mr. Lorenzo Owens. Lorenzo? How you doing, man? Welcome to Music with a Purpose. Thank you. We are going to start from the beginning and work our way to the current. You started off as a waiter, and you sent yes. in your tape to the Oprah Winfrey Show, correct? Yes. What happened when you got the call from the Oprah Winfrey Show? Uh, man, it was just, you know, just quite exciting. That's right. You, you're making me relive that. That's <laughs> been some time ago, but... Uh, it was it was exciting, man. Definitely exciting. I mean, you know, just imagine you sitting at, uh, and I actually didn't get a call. I got a visit. Um, so, uh, truly, truly, truly exciting to you know have that that experience. Okay, you were you were a struggling artist, correct? Still one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was uh, waiting tables at the time. Uh, you know, of course, you you know you on a on a show like that. Um, instantly, you know, 11 million people around the world now know your name and know your face. Um, so it, it changed my changed my life definitely. Um, just as far as it being able to actually secure uh, the record deal uh, that I did, and um, you know, the, the national exposure um, that I've had since then. I've you know done things that if it had not been for uh, that particular show, um, I never would have uh, probably been able to do. So. But it's still how I work every day. Being in competition with the winner, Michelle Griffin, how was that experience? Um, you know, it, it was what it was. Of, of course, you know, everybody wants number one. <laughs> But it was uh, meant to be the way it was meant to be, and it was a cool experience. Um, both Lanisha and Lachelle are great people. Um, I couldn't have been happier for uh, all three of us. Um, it was just, you know, it wasn't like a competition type situation. It was more of a, um, a spirit of, you know, friendship and uh, and family around there uh, rather than a competition. And I think that just goes to um, the fact that that's the uh, type of atmosphere that, you know, a person like Oprah kind of, kind of emanates. Um, so it wasn't like a competition type setting, you know, really at all. Okay, you, you're done with the Oprah show. Now you are pursuing your career as an artist. How was it as a struggling artist trying to get the record deal after being on the show? Was it a small well, experience? It it was uh it was an experience. <laughs> it was definitely ex an experience. Uh, it was cool uh, in that because of what I had done, you know, uh, like I said, opened doors and uh, created opportunities that I probably wouldn't have had, you know, if it had not been for that. Uh, at the same token, you know, it was still a part of the the game of the music industry, uh, the hurry up and wait type situation. Um, after we were. Uh, we were uh, done with the show. We were actually signed to Sony for a six-month period of time, which was a holding period. So we couldn't sign with anyone else until it was, uh, um, you know, they decided that they either did want to sign us or didn't want to sign us, and they held us for the six-month period. Um, so it was, uh, you know, it, it was it was up and it was down. It was good and it was bad. Like, you know, I guess anything in life, it was... Uh, uh, you know, some great opportunities provided for me, but nonetheless, it was still the you know the old record industry heave ho. <laughs> what record label did you sign with? I signed with D Town Records. Out of Detroit, and, Michigan. And your album really sounds great. I was listening to the song "Close Your Eyes." Can you give us the concept to that song? <laughs> Close Your Eyes was a song that uh, was written by myself and my best friend, uh, Carmen Mitchell. 
um, quite some time ago, actually, and we decided that uh, we wanted to do something with it, um, update it a little bit, and uh, put it on the album. So it's just a, a, a very uh, sensual kind of song. Um, I think the lyrics kind of speak for, for themselves. Close your eyes and think about loving me. We'll be back together, and our dreams will become a reality. Um, so, yes. Yeah. We're going to play Mr. Lorenzo Owens, close your eyes, and come back to him.
that song has a real jazz appeal to it, Mr. Lorenzo. Can you um, tell us the, um, your influence, your artist that uh, you look up to? Um, wow, I've looked up to a lot of artists, man. Um, <clears throat> but definitely the greats, um, Stevie Wonder, Donny Hathaway, Rita Franklin, Gladys Knight, um, <clears throat> people like that who were doing it way back then and still, you know, doing it just as big. Uh, now, so those are the people that I really looked up to, and as far as the influence of the song specifically, um, I like to infuse uh, components of things that I really like, and jazz is something that I uh, that I'm, I, I really like a lot. Uh, and so you will find that you know, woven within the fabric of the music, are influences of all those things that I like, from jazz to rock to um, just R and B to gospel, and you know, on down the line. What do you think about the state of music right now? Right now, wow. It's very interesting, um, as it always has been, you know, I guess throughout the throughout the span of time. Um, <clears throat> it's a very, very powerful medium, um, music is, and I think that uh, people really um, don't understand a lot of people don't really understand its influence and or its power. Um, and so I think we're at a time where uh, things are hopefully beginning to change a little bit and, and look uh, a bit better uh, as far as the artist is concerned. That's my hope. Um, so we'll, we'll see. With the MySpace and YouTube, and the artists being able to promote their own career, how has that medium helped you out? Well, it's just a, a great medium in and of itself, um, just the whole Internet uh, craze. Uh, and it's definitely been a help um, in that, you know, you, you, you really literally at, the, at a moment's notice uh, can have, you know, someone right in front of your page looking at whatever it is that you um, need them to see as opposed to in the days of actually sending out packages to people um, to get noticed for whatever reason, whether it was bookings or or otherwise. So um, I think it's, you know, it's, it's been a good thing to be able to switch that over uh, quite a bit. But again, uh, you know, it's still work every day. <laughs> Yeah, you have to know how to promote yourself. And um, the Internet has really helped a lot of artists. You know, you can become a star from the Internet yeah, just yeah. by um, putting your music out on MySpace, Facebook, and even YouTube. Mm -hmm. This has just become a great medium. And I would like to know, can you tell us any artists that you would like to work with, maybe collaborate with on an upcoming song or maybe tour with? Oh, wow, lots of people. Um, uh, a friend of mine in, in Chicago native, we've been talking about it for a minute, but we haven't done it uh, as of yet, Selena Johnson. Uh, we'd oh, definitely yeah. love to, uh, to collaborate with her. We both have uh, old souls, <laughs> so to speak. Um, very old kind of voices, I think, at times. Um, so I'd be interested to see how that collaboration would come out. But um, so many people, you know, out here, Jill Scott, um, you know, Erica Badu, and the list goes on, man. Can you tell us some of the people that you already have toured with? Uh, yeah, I mean, I've toured with lots of people. <clears throat> Excuse me, it was out last year with uh, India Irie, um, Robin Thicke, and Stone. Uh, Frankie Beverly and Mays, um, Eric Benet, you know, quite a, quite a few people. Were you able to contact Mr. Michael Basin? I know he has a segment on his show called The B-Side, and a lot of our artists that we have on our show mainly comes from, you know, his medium. Um, were yeah, you able we, to contact Mr. Basin? We tried uh, submitting some things to uh, Michael Basin, uh, never to any extreme uh, amount of success. Um, Tom Joyner has been <laughs> much more of a champion of my work uh, in certain regards. So, you know, if Mr. Basin is out there listening and or some of his uh, people, you know, hook a brother up. <laughs> 
All right. We're going to get into some more of Mr. Lorenzo Owens' music. Can you give us the concept of your song, Want to See You Smile? Uh, Want to See You Smile uh, is just a great song in that it's a, it's a very sweet sentiment to want, you know, to just see someone smile and not necessarily have, you know, many other ulterior motives, but you just want to see them smile. It's, it's just a, a notion that... Uh, makes us believe in love and, and, and all of those uh, beautiful things that come along with it. So I think that's why the song was, uh, aside from the fact that it's got a great, you know, rhythm to it, a great movement um, to it, I think the lyrics are just very, very sweet and something that everybody kind of wants to hear. So Here is Mr. Lorenzo Owens, up close and personal, want to see you smile. how they can become a better artist? 
Wow, man. Yeah, uh, steady. You know, just learn as, as much as you can about the, the industry, uh, period. Understand that it's a struggle. You know, it's, it's uh, you wish there was a one, two, three type formula for it. Unfortunately, it is not. Um, <clears throat> and success is not judged, you know, uh, in, in the same ways as they are in other fields. Um, so you have to have perseverance. You have to uh, earmark your own personal successes, and uh, you have to work very, very hard uh, to uh, to make things happen. And often it requires quite a bit of sacrifice. So just understand what you you know you're getting yourself into, and that it's it's not the glitz and glam all the time that uh, we make it out to be when you see the videos and different things like that. Um, it's it, there's really a lot of hard work and dedication that goes into it. And um, you know, yeah, you have, you, it's not the cleanest of businesses, so you have to uh, really watch yourself. I want to thank you, Mr. Lorenzo Owens, for coming on Music with a Purpose. Can you give out your website and MySpace page? Absolutely. Uh, my MySpace page is uh, www.myspace.com forward slash Lorenzo Owens official page. So hit me up on there. Thanks for having me. Supposed to do. 